So today I will be sharing with you guys exactly what I eat for suhoor and I've been doing this every single day of Ramadan and subhanAllah I haven't been feeling hungry at all. Maybe like the last 30 minutes before I break my fast, I start getting hungry but let's get right into it. So I start off by putting in three dates into the blender and once I'm done with that, I go ahead and follow it up with only one banana. So you can add as much as you want to this, but I, I really don't like when the consistency is too thick. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and add a protein. You can add any kind of protein you like, but I'm using this uh, random protein shake that my wife bought. She likes it because it's like more vegan based, but honestly, it tastes pretty good. I want to say it's peanut butter flavored, but I'm not 100% sure but I like to put two scoops so it'll come out to about 30 grams of protein and I follow it with some milk and also peanut butter so peanut butter is just for extra calories and I like the taste of peanut butter as well so I feel like it makes it pretty taste pretty good but you can go ahead and add whatever you like to this you can add cinnamon you can add honey I actually recently just started adding honey you can add chia seeds you can add black seed oil literally the possibilities are endless and this is what I've been doing for some food every day all right so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick and easy suhoor so that's usually what I start with for the day and then inshallah I'm going to head to jiu-jitsu class and then go to fajr prayer and then inshallah catch my workout and that way I can get all my activities done in the beginning of the day throughout the rest of the day I can just kind of take it easy focus on my ibadah focus on school and whatnot and then keep the day moving so stay tuned and I'll show you guys how that goes and I'll see you guys in the next clip inshallah if you ever in your life have to trust someone then you trust Allah and Allah alone because Allah Azza wa Jal is always truthful with his words and Allah Azza wa Jal always keeps his promises Allah never breaks his word ever impossible Hasha lillah it's unbefitting Bro, let's get food. just took an exam 7 a.m. how'd it go so easy I thought it was kind of hard you kind of dumb looking aren't you <laughs> yeah 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 all right what are you working on right now I'm gonna have milk um, a cast today from the Russian uh -huh. the weather can I see Oh, she, 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 I came in earlier. I'm like, hey, she left us. She goes, you're fired. God dang, boys. I was like, honestly, why is this like shaking? Why is it like shifting so much? <laughs> she fine? Here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that boy looking so, like, fresh, like, bro. Really that boy never be looking like, fresh. Like, 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 All right, Naveel in his natural environment. Um, show them your fit, bro, in the med school, bro. Look at this, Allahumma Mubarak. I'm from Palestine. It's your boy Naveel, um, featured pediatric heart transplant surgeon. You um, say this every time. I know. I'm, I'm not doing 6'3", doctor. but I have a Porsche. What else? Bro? Okay, bro. <laughs> we don't else? care about the Porsche. Doctors without borders for the rest of my life. Guys, yeah, you forgot that part. Oh, right? shit. Yeah, my bad, man. Curls are a little short, but to come back in. <laughs> So right now we're on the way to Jamaa. Well, he already prayed, so I'm about to pray, but... Hey man, what did you just ask me? We're gonna have icy, <laughs> fresh water. <laughs> Only because I'm fasting, huh? No, like the sun is too bright. It's hot. It is pretty hot today. <laughs> no, no ice water? No, thank you. What does that mean? What's it again? Hamdalam. <laughs> what, what else did you say after? Salam. Alright, so this guy said, I'm fasting too. And then he whips out all this food. He's like, I got you one too, man. <laughs> But unfortunately, I was able to work out this morning just because we had an early class. So we're going to go catch a workout in right now, fasted. I don't know about this guy. Fasted. But yeah, we'll let y'all know how it goes. Inshallah, going to have some deadlifts today. So. Inshallah. Oh, actually, we're hitting chest today, right? Chest, chest. Yeah, we're hitting chest today. So no no pre, no food, no water, nothing. Just yep. go in raw. We'll see Lovely. how it goes. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, always. <laughs> so Allah Azza wa says that on the day of judgment, when Jahannam sees... When Jahannam sees the human being for the first time, it's been created for Allah Alam how many thousands of years, it's been burning for Allah Alam how long, and it's been waiting for this day. So when Jahannam sees the human being for the first time, Allah Azza wa says burst. It's like it'll burst out of anger. 
And then Allah mentions in the Quran that when Jahannam bursts and the human being sees this with his own eyes, Allah says at that moment, every single living thing will fall to its knees in prostration to Allah. The good, the bad, the ugly, the Muslim, the non-Muslim, the one who believed, the one who didn't believe, the one who wanted to see, the one who didn't want to see. When they see this with their eyes, they will fall in prostration. But on that day, Allah will say, stand up. Today is not the day of worship. Today is the day of judgment. You believing then is of no value. Your Iman then will weigh nothing in the sight of Allah. So Alhamdulillah, I officially just got done with school for the day. And that workout wasn't the best of workouts, but it wasn't also the worst of workouts. I feel like the, the more I work out around Fajr time, the most energy I have and the most hydrated I am. But the later on I extend it throughout the day, I just feel a lot more exhausted and tired and I don't get to really lift as heavy as I want to. But anyways, the month of Ramadan is really about focusing on your worship and whatnot. So when it comes to the gym, I'm trying my best to just maintain the level where I'm at and then also just make time for ibadah and all of that. But <clears throat> this is around the time I would have lunch, but since we're all fasting, alhamdulillah, I'm going to be extending that out to Maghrib time and I'm going to show you guys kind of what I usually eat around the Maghrib basis. It'll probably be around some home cooked meal. Of lately, I've really been liking to eat salmon based foods just because uh, I've been diagnosed with higher cholesterol than the normal. So I'm um, trying to avoid red meats as much as I can. But I hope you guys enjoy uh, the next. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go home and take a quick nap, inshallah, and then go ahead and get started on the dinner part. So I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far, and I'll see you guys in the next clip, inshallah. Sada. All right. So now it's time to make iftar, and for iftar today, we're going pretty simple. We're just gonna be going with a uh, basic salmon, and then on the side is gonna be some Alfredo pasta with mushrooms. And even though this food looks really good, and I would love to take credit for it, I have to thank my wife for helping for actually making it. I can't even take credit for this or else she'll get mad at me. But it's just a pretty healthy food, just some pasta for some carbs and as well as salmon on the side. So that's what I'm gonna be having for iftar today. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm so excited to share with you guys that Ramadan has officially started. And right now I'm gonna be on my way to Tarawih. So for those of you guys who don't know what Ramadan is, I really just wanna bring you guys with this journey of all the Muslims and kind of so you guys can see what a day in the life of a Muslim goes like in Ramadan. So we actually start off in the night with Tarawih prayers, which the Fard is to like the Fard, which is the mandatory part is the Isha prayer. And that's highly recommended to be prayed at the Masjid. My wife and I are gonna pray Tarawih at a Masjid. So I kind of wanna show you guys what Tarawih is and what Isha prayer. This is obviously for everyone who hasn't even seen that stuff before. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys things that I eat throughout the day. Um, not throughout the day, throughout like the time when I can't eat, which is Ramadan because I can't eat because I'm fasting, but in the times that I can't I can eat. So uh, anyways, just stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video. Sit down. All right, this guy, Ramadan I mean, he, everyone. even uh, everywhere. Huh? Everywhere uh, I go, I see you. Bro, okay. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Ramadan right. Kareem, everyone. You know, this Ramadan, just, you know, can I give some my words of wisdom? Yes, yes. Okay, Ramadan Kareem, everyone. It's, um, this Ramadan, I should be thankful for what we have. There's people out in the world, especially in Gaza, who don't have what we have. Say alhamdulillah for the privilege we have. Let's try and better ourselves. That's what Ramadan's about. It's, you know, you're not expected to come out of Ramadan a perfect Muslim, but just be slightly better than you were before. Set goals, realistic ones, establish them. Donate your time, donate your money, do what you can for the world. Because at the end of the day, you know, this life is temporary. And I think I speak for everyone, or the majority of people watching this video. You have no idea who your great-great-grandfather was. He lived his life and, you know, he passed away and no one knows what happened to him. No one knows if he was a good or bad man. And that just shows how insignificant this life is. You know, but Where's Allah knows everything there is to know about from? them. Where's you know, wisdom, we will live on this life. We will have kids, we will have grandkids, and then we'll be buried in the dirt. And they will forget our names a hundred years from now. But Allah will not forget every single thing we did in this lifestyle. And that really shows the deen over dunya aspect of this. And, True. you know, bless Ramadan for everyone. Inshallah, great one. Thank you for your time. For <laughs> <Christina> <laughs> <Sabine>. <laughs> Free Palestine. <laughs>
أم تقولون على الله ما لا تعلمون سمع الله لنا